with coverage you can count on. This is News Channel 8 at 5.30. Entertainer Sammy Davis Jr., The Beatles' George Harrison, and rocker Rod Stewart among those diagnosed with oral cancer. As you know, early detection is key to a better prognosis and treatment. As I found out, a new screening tool is available in Connecticut. It emits a high-energy blue light and filtered through this state-of-the-art scope, there's a green glow. See the green? This is her left cheek. And you see that the tissue has a greenish glow to it. Stanford dentist Dr. Stephen Walpo is using the Velscope, the latest tool in detecting oral cancer early. You can detect this much earlier, uh, say a year to two years earlier than what might be possible visually. The green glow indicates healthy tissue. However, Dr. Walpole points out, precancerous tissue is often tough to see by the naked eye. See only a very slight whitish area. Using the Velscope, the area in question is dark and non-glowing. This result tells you that there's something wrong with this tissue. I want you just to tip your chin back a little bit. And I'm Patient Lori Bellis back. has no risk factors for oral cancer, but is undergoing the screening anyway. I've never been a smoker. Um, I don't drink other than socially. It wouldn't be something that I would even concern myself with. But Dr. Walpo says oral cancer is growing among a younger population due to its direct link to HPV strains. The same virus causes cervical cancer and now they've found that it also causes oral cancer. And along with a conventional visual exam that most dentists do, Lori gets a clean bill of health. You know, cancer is really, it's very scary for people and, and to know that it's something that isn't, um, isn't to be concerned for me, it, you know, is, is a good thing. Studies show this screening has led to a 90% success rate for treating patients. Some insurance companies do cover it. If not, it could cost you around $75. Early signs of oral cancer include a red and or white discoloration in the mouth tissue and a hoarseness that lingers.